This week I do a crane pad with the Hyundai, the first time I've been in a 14 tonne machine in about six months and the crane pad has to get tested. Pressure was on. I'm the Digger Girl, this is episode 78, let's go. We're on Monday morning and this morning I am in the big Hyundai. The job I'm on, I'm not too sure if I can do too much filming it, as you can see with the hard hat and the high vis on, so it might be quite limited but I'll do what I can. I'm digging out an area for a crane pad. It was got to get compaction tested. So we'll see how it goes. My first job is to rip all this turf off, then the soil, do a test, and then refill back in with rock. So I just have to take the turf off and then I'm doing a compact test on the soil before I take it out. Um, so that's all I'm doing the base today, I can't dig any more out. Just digging out this road line as well, um, and I'll get the soil off that too. Turf's got to get put up to go back in, back on top of the buns after that I get the soil out and the buns up.
Well, my bag's from the front of the FD as well. Now the soil is all out, this is what's under there, which is quite good ground to be fair, so hopefully this will be enough for them. We're on Tuesday morning and I'm back in the Hyundai. Yesterday we got the it all dug out back there and I have some rock delivered first thing. So let's get this spread. Second delivery. That'll do you. Thank you. 
Today I'm going to do a compaction test. I've never done one of these before in a digger. I've never had to, but it's this wee tool set up here and then I seemingly just track over it with the digger, sit on top of it and then it sees what the compaction of the ground is. I'm hoping that is okay because I don't want to dig any more out of here because um, that's when we're going to start hitting surfaces. So fingers crossed, this is okay. So all the compaction tests passed, thankfully, which means good news. We just have to put some Teram down now. And here's another load of rock coming. Right, that's just getting the tear arm down now to get tight one on top. Let's do it. No bar, no bar at all. Right, we're just going to get some hit next height, so just put me piles all over so I can work to them with more rock. These rain showers are horrendous. Right, Rupert, while he's giving that a roll, I need to work out how much rock we need for tomorrow. So I'm going to use my Mosher 2 I've updated. So all it is is I've got this wee thing, what connects to the app via Bluetooth. And then this wee stand, that sits in there. And then this goes in here, my phone on top, and I take different points to work out the volume I need. So, game changer. Let's go get it done. So, click on the Mosher app. 
I'm going to do a close shape because it's a square that we're doing here. Click on this and then it's so easy to use. I think you've probably some of you have seen me use it before, but it's literally green, amber and red. Let's go. So it's red, now green. Amber, it shows you here amber and down there it shows the red as well, as well as making a noise. So there we have the shape here. So it's come up with 133 metres square is what it is. And the parameter is 46.25 metres. So with that, I'll be able to work out we need 110 over the rest. So I'll go and do the maths and work out what that is. One good thing about Mojo as well is I can just save it straight away. So just go to File, Save. This is all my other ones I've got. Tracks, Yard, New Project, Crane Pad. Save. So then if I go into my files, open, crane, it's saved there. And then from there I can then send it on to the clients if need be with a PDF or any of these other documents. Just send it straight onto them and I can also map it against the map. So if I get a aerial map of this place, I can then set this drawing on that map so you can see exactly what it is, exactly how big it is and everything they need to know about it. It's definitely a game changer instead of doing out paces like what I usually do, a tape or the old fashioned wheel is a lot more accurate and you've got it all there on your phone ready to go within, that literally took me two minutes to do. The size of it as well says it all, instead of having a big wheel carting around with you, that's it, I can go in my pocket, we're good to go. If you think Mojo will be helpful to you, check out the link in the description and get yours today. There we are, so that's us all done for today, so we shall see you guys tomorrow. Off to do my job. Instagram.
Right, so far it's looking good. Run it like this. Just waiting another load of type one and it's just coming in just now, so that'll get this bit finished off. So yeah, get in there. looking pretty tidy now just need to get all that soil tidied up and that's going to be the next job is going in a wee bund along the side of them cones there now i'm just going to dig out this little bit here um it's where the lorries were coming in but the crane's going to come in here too so i'll just dig it out and put a wee bit of type one in nothing too mad um but just tidy up a little bit important bit done the crane pads all in the roads all in the crane can get in and it's getting compacted the cranes get used to lift gates so Rupert's rolling that just now and I'm going to start muck shifting all the muck that we dug out over to the back to put a bund on it put Rupert out in that rain what a shame It's the soil all over and I gave that wee road a scrape down there too and that is me all done for today so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're on Thursday morning and this morning I have just got to do this bun, tidy it up, neat it up and then that'll be me done. They wanted to put the turf back over it but it's going to be quite a tricky one only because the turf is lying over there in a pile. But you know yourself, whenever, well you don't know yourself but whenever you move turf the worst it's going to be for putting back over so I'll just see how we get on as long as it's tidy that'll be the main thing
could probably do it with the turf over there while I'm going. So I'm just going to load the tipper up with turf and try and get it over. I don't know how the tipper is going to go in the grass and the wet, but I'm sure we'll see. This turf is going to be the hardest stuff to put under because we moved a couple of times and because we had so much rain last night. But I guess I'll just have to do what I do. I personally think that it'd be fine just the way it is. Um, throw some grass seed over it and it'll be bunded over and um, grassed over in no time. But that's what they want. And it might even come to, yeah, I'll say this is not worth doing. Surely a tidy job's better than anything. I'm just going to concentrate more on that this side here rather than all over because I don't think I'm going to have enough turf for all that. There we are, bundle done, road scraped and cream pad ready. Tomorrow will be the final test to see if it's going to pass. Fingers crossed for that and I shall see you guys tomorrow. We are on a Friday morning and this morning I'm not going back to that job where the hen dies on the cream pad. However, Rupert's away up there because they're doing another compaction test on it this morning. So I'll wait and hear how that gets on and fingers crossed it passes because if not, I don't even know what they'll do. So hoping for that. The rain has been like torrential last night. Everywhere is like quite flooded and stuff. Not that that should really matter because there's drainage underneath and it's well compacted, but anything is possible. So hopefully it all goes okay. So this, today I am gonna, I've got a few wee things to do. I've got to do a few invoices. I've got to phone and order more merch. I've got a few things that I can do. I might go back over to DJ Campbell's yard where I was a couple of weeks ago, fix a few of the potholes that I sunk down. Obviously it was raining when I was doing it. And then if the compaction tests do pass, I need to phone Dean Jai Campbell's to go and pick the Hyundai up from away up the Glen. So plenty to be doing. So let's get on with it and have our fingers crossed that this compaction test passes. So I've been sitting doing paperwork all morning. I will be one or different now, but Rupert had called to say that the test had passed and everyone's more than happy. So that is a big relief because I don't actually know what we do. So yeah, that's a very good end for a Friday. Now I need to phone just to get the machine picked up, get moved on to the next job. And that's a wrap for this week. So as always, thanks for liking, comment and subscribing. Make sure you come back next week and see what I'm up to. Thanks guys. What's he doing? Did you pick up my charger there? How much? Can't hear you. Whoa! No! <laughs>
cool. Why did they do that? It's cold. 